Armies expect to encounter threats on land, at sea, the air, in space and cyberspace. At the same time, non-military technology is changing the battlefield in significant ways. Sensors proliferated and there was a rapid expansion of civilian space-based assets. For example, cyber connectivity has become essential to the conduct of military operations. But this technology has also created new vulnerabilities in civilian infrastructure against both kinetic and non-kinetic attacks. To adapt to these changes, NATO is developing the multi-domain operations warfare concept. But for this concept to be successful, it must include a plan for managing military operations increasing dependence on and interaction with non-military instruments of power. NATO's military operations must be multi-domain and built on a strong backbone of synchronization with non-military means of power. NATO's allied command transformation has defined this interdependence in its definition of MDO as the orchestration of military activities across all domains and environments in synchronization with non-military activities to enable the alliance to deliver converging effects at the relevant pace. Achieving this will require immediate steps to improve coordination with non-military offices in government and private sector actors. Incorporating these elements into NATO planning processes in the long term, essentially seeing non-military power tools as the sixth area, will require a more harmonious approach. Lessons from Ukraine's multi-domain war Ukraine's extraordinary defense against Russia's brutal war. Aggression demonstrates how the means of military power are integrated with and dependent on. Non-military means power. For example, Ukraine's use Starlink for command and control is well documented. Although recent comments by SpaceX CEO Elon Musk highlight the potential drawbacks of relying on the private sector for low orbitenabled command and control military operations, while taking advantage commercially available low-Earth orbit satellites, they should take advantage of contract structures that reduce the potential risks relying on non-military satellites for military operations. Ukraine further exploited the proliferation of existing private detection by incorporating publicly available information into intelligence and targeting. After decades of low-intensity conflict, Russia's invasion of Ukraine has reopened large-scale, high-intensity conflict in Europe. Therefore, when Russia's invasion was halted after its initial success, it rapidly escalated attacks on Ukraine's transportation, energy, and cyber infrastructure using both kinetic and non-kinetic means. Ukraine's ingenuity, combined with support of military partners and private sector actors, has allowed Ukraine to both sustain the war effort and continue to provide basic functions of governance as a state. It is important to keep in mind that these advantages will not apply if NATO itself is engaged in a LAR.